The Alberta Association of Municipalities and Districts is speaking out against the NDP's plan to change the electoral boundaries here in Alberta. They say it will diminish democracy. This group that represents Alberta's rural communities and 69 counties is very concerned that the new sizes of the proposed ridings will make representing people in those areas nearly impossible. Let's go back in history a little bit though. The NDP convened a panel in October of 2016 called the Alberta Electoral Boundaries Commission and their interim report was just finished earlier in June. It's long, it's wordy, it's boring. I read it so you didn't have to. But what you need to know right now is that a panel advised fewer but much larger rural ridings in Alberta and a couple more urban ones. For example, the commission proposes taking seven Southern Alberta ridings held by either Wild Rose or PCs and turning them into five ridings. In fact, the newly proposed riding of Strathmore Drumheller, it's going to be Frankensteined out of the current riding of Strathmore Brooks and Drumheller Stetler, would be three and a half hours across if you had to drive it, and it would be nearly 36,000 square kilometers in size, so bigger than Belgium and just a tad smaller than the Netherlands. And we know the NDP will certainly adopt this report, saying Alberta needs to change to reflect the growing urban population. And so riding boundaries will have to be tinkered with, tinkered with drastically. I'm sure you get the gist, though, of what's going on here. Three things are at work, actually. The first is really, really obvious. The NDP think that increasing urban ridings will hand them more winnable ridings, and taking ridings out of rural Alberta will give the Conservative opposition, whatever that will look like in the future, fewer ridings and less power in the legislature. It's pretty blatant. It's using electoral boundaries to try to gerrymander themselves into a win. The second thing at work is also pretty clear. Those conservative voters in rural Alberta just won't shut up when the NDP asks them to. Those rural voters, well, they weren't quiet enough when the NDP attacked their farms with Bill 6. They won't quit complaining about how the carbon tax will take money out of their farm's bottom lines. This is what rural Alberta gets when they get too loud. They get their voices in the legislature given away to someone else. And the third thing at work is a little more, what's the right word here, clandestine? It's meant to make voters resent their conservative MLAs. If your riding is so big that you can't take care of it and be where you need to be, if your riding is the size of Taiwan, your voters never see you and they might not see all that you're doing for them and maybe you'll vote for someone else next time. It's pretty sneaky actually. But the good news is this tinkering in favor of urban voters won't help the NDP as much as they think it will because a recent Main Street poll shows that the PCs lead the polls in Calgary ahead of the NDP. So it's not going to help the NDP much to rejig the legislature but it will ensure rural Alberta is not represented fairly. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreid. While the rest of the media talks about what the NDP are doing, I'll tell you why they're doing it. To never miss a story, be sure to subscribe to our new Rebel Canada YouTube page.